guys, welcome to my new studio setup, by the way, filming room, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, today we have a review and demo using the ColourPop Aha uh -huh Honey Palette. How could I not bought this? I mean, it's a honey themed palette. And if you know anything about me, you know I love bees. I have a few stuff behind me, some of it. My whole house has bee decor all over it. So when this came out, I was just like, shut up and take my money, ColourPop. Because it's the, uh, it's the palette I've dreamed of. <laughs> a yellow palette, finally. I think I've waited years to see this. Because, I mean, it's hard to find a yellow eyeshadow. I've looked high and low, tried different brands. They all are just disappointing. This is the first time I've used yellow eyeshadow. And just, it's been everything I've wanted it to be. This palette is pigmented and is everything. It is a bee lover's dream. So in this video, I demoed the palette using as many shades as I could from it. And this is the look I came up with. Just a very yellow and fun and shimmery and glittery. Oh, goodness. And I'm kind of in love with it. Now I purchased the Humble Bee Bundle, which came with a BFF mascara and liner. And I also tested those out today. And I think they look pretty cool. I'm really liking the uh, yellow mascara. I think I'm going to be using it in some different looks that can really make it pop and stand out. And this on the waterline, yes, <laughs> yes. This is the look, and if you want to see how we got there and my thoughts on the Uh Huh Honey palette, just keep watching. Yeah, today we're just going to sit down and play with this beautiful, beautiful yellow dream palette. Like, I couldn't have made a better palette. It's all the colors I want in the world, <laughs> which is just shades of yellow. Anyway, with this palette, you have nine pans. And let's see, nine pans, five mattes, three metallics, and one pressed glitter in the center, which it says not to use in the media eye area. I looked on the website. It says that about all the ColourPop uh, pressed glitters, that they're not to be used in the media eye area. So it's nothing just particular about this one. But, uh, at the same time, they're being marketed as eyeshadows, are they not? I'm a little, uh, confused on that. But, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. I've put down a base of concealer on my lids and set it with a translucent powder. And I think first things first, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. Little guy from e.l.f. This is the uh, Fluffy Eye Blender Brush. I just picked this up there today just to see. I think just to lay down a nice base in the uh, transition crease and then go in with Stinger, which is the lightest shade in the palette, or softest. It's a matte butter, yeah, matte butter yellow. So go ahead and just, I'm gonna take a little bit on this brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that through the, the transition area. As I'm filming this, there is a tropical storm <laughs> going on. Uh, tropical storm Barry. Which, it was a hurricane when it came inland, but it downgraded by the time it got to me. I'm about four hours inland, I believe. Four, four and a half. I'm not sure. But yeah, this hurricane's a dragon. She's, he's slow. It's so slow and just lingering and just taking its time. I'm just building up Stinger still in the uh, crease for transition. This is a pretty color. Like it's just very soft. It really is a butter. It's just a buttery color. And I mean, these mattes are like butter anyway. They are so nice. I think Obehave, which is the uh, shade on the bottom here, right here. Let's see, Obehave is a matte mustard. We're going to take that deeper into the crease and see what it does. Oh, that's a very vibrant mustard. Like, that's like mustard. <laughs> mustard. Has anybody ever watched Jackass or Viva La Bam? 
I remember the character, or not character, but the guy on there, Rake. I think it was on like a deleted scene where they put mustard on his car because he like he put mustard all over everything because he hates mustard and he just like loses his mind. I feel like there was like a song or something about it that like Brandon DiCamillo did. There was this whole thing about mustard and it was really funny. I that's what kind of shit I grew up on was like Jackass and Viola Bam. I just we just watched the uh, Haggard movie the other day. Which is Bam Margera's movie with Ryan Dunn as the uh, main character. Oh, poor sweet Ryan Dunn. I, mean, I, just, I still like, I think the more I watch that movie, like as time passes, I laugh at it more every time. <laughs> like it just, it's one of those movies, like the first thing you watch it, you're like, what is this? And then the more you watch it, the more you just crack up and laugh at it. Because it gets where it's like running jokes. Like, me and my husband re reference it constantly. The point was that Ray Kjorn, he would like freak out about mustard. Yeah, these colors are blending beautifully. I think, yeah, that is just flowing right into one another. Nothing's muddy. Nothing's looking patchy. A little bit of Buzzkill, which is the deepest shade. It is the matte yellow brown. I'm going to put this like in the, like right into the crease and outer corner. I'm just going to layering shades, seeing how they do. I don't have a clear plan on what I'm doing. I wish this shade was just a little deeper, or if there was one that was deeper than this. I think that might be my only real complaint here. I think I want some, just a little more depth. But I do like this color. It makes me think of like, it's almost amber. Colored. I like it a lot. It is very much a yellow brown. I really quite, I like all the shades in this palette. Yeah, I'm really liking the way that looks. That's pretty. I think I'm going to go in with uh, Sweet Spot with Primary Yellow. Let's see. I just want to tickle a little bit of this just around the outer parts in the transition. Just go soften some edges. I just want to see what it'll do. See how yellow it is. Well, it's not really showing too much over this, but I do see it. I think it would be better for a different look on its own. Because it's just getting lost in the yellows. <laughs> but it, I got this little like packer brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of Queen Bee. I'm gonna just take it on the outer part of the lid. Oh, that's so vibrant. A oh, pigment. My goodness. I am so impressed with the shimmers, or the metallics in this palette. They are just out of this world. The pressed glitter is freaking gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that just shine. Can you see how vibrant that is? Oh, I hope that's reading on camera because that's so pretty. Okay, so on the inner part, I think I'm going to take a little bit of dandy. We're just kind of on the center. Center. Ooh, that's such a bright gold. I, think, I wish there was a deeper brown to like really carve out that crease. I might try going back in with Buzzkill and see what happens. Oh, this gold is so pretty. Mm. Look at that. That's so vibrant. I'm going to take a little more Queen Bee and just make sure they're flowing into one another. Okay, I'm going to take Starburst on the inner part. Oh, sorry, Sunburst, which is a metallic lemon with blue glitter. It is a very unique and amazing color. It's so pretty. This color is just beautiful. I love it. Like this with the uh, Sweet Spot shade, which is the primary yellow. That could be a look. Mm. I can't believe how pigmented that shade is. Like, cause when you look at it in the palette, you don't think it's gonna be as pigmented and bright as it is, but you can see how just, bam, these shades are. Cool. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna take a little bit more buzzkill on the same brush. I'm gonna take just right out here, kind of add some depth. So let's do some of this glitter. I'm just gonna go for it, put it like on the center of the lid. Cause this glitter is amazing. Gl Press glitter is called Palooza. It's a bright yellow with a copper duochrome shift. And it is just to die for. Is it worth losing vision over? We'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and just kind of pat it on the center. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Just pat a little bit. Color has the most amazing shift. Oh man. Alright. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump off camera and Go ahead and put on some liner and mascara and finish up the face, lips and all that. And we'll come back and we'll really talk about this guy because I did not follow through with really talking about it like I meant to. Okay, I just went ahead and did my face makeup, highlight, contour, blush, bronzer, and lip. For highlight, I used the uh, ABH Sugar Glow Kit in the shade Marshmallow right here because it has a kind of a yellow canary yellow shift and I thought it would kind of tie in nice with the eyes and for lips before we get back to the eyes I'm gonna tell you real quick why I'm thinking about it I decided to keep it with the uh, ColourPop family and I went with the lippy stick in grunge this is a matte lippy stick like old school when they first launched this was like one of the original products and it's just a nice kind of brownie nude that's a little deep and I thought it would tie in good with the eyes. So what I'm going to do now though is go ahead and do the inner corner, I mean the uh, lower lash line while we're here because I forgot all about doing that. I was like, I'm going to do makeup, whatever. Well, I'll be back in a minute. I forgot all about doing the lower lash line. So let's see, what do we want to do? I'm going to go ahead to Jump into Buzzkill, which is the uh, matte yellow brown. I'm going to take it just along this lower, along the uh, lower lash line. So I'm going to jump into OB Hay, which is the uh, matte mustard. Just going to marry that into. Buzzkill. I'm going to take Totally Buggin, which we haven't used yet, which is a matte butterscotch. I'm going to just kind of take it just right underneath. And a short, stubby blending brush. Kind of, it's one you can use like pack on shade, but it's really good for like, a, I think it's like a short shader brush. I'm terrible with naming what brushes are, like the shape of them. I don't know why that's something that drives me nuts. It's so hard to do. Because everybody calls them something different. Brands all call them something different. Yeah, I'm just kind of blowing that out a little bit, softening the edges. I'm going to take Sunburst. This is the matte lemon with the blue glitter. I'm going to take it on my little brush again. And just pop it on that inner part right here. I love this color so much. And that's the eyeshadow pretty much finished. I think what are we gonna do now? I um I bought the Be Humble little package. It came with the mascara and the uh, eyeliner. I'm gonna take the eyeliner on the waterline. It's supposed to be waterproof. This is their cream gel liner, BFF cream gel liner. And the shade is Punch. Odd shade name. Ooh, that's pretty. That looks really pretty in the water line. That. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be using this more. That went on so creamy and so easy. Just 
glide it on. So let's see how long that wears. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go ahead and do my regular mascara and we'll come back and I think I'm gonna do this on the lower lash line, the lower lashes and see how it looks. After the lashes are done, I'm gonna go ahead in with the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in the shade Yellow Goodbye. Yeah, these are really, I like this packaging. It's very nice, it has a nice little click. You can see the color just peeking around here. That's really cute. Yeah, and here's what it looks like. It is a mustard yellow. So let's, um, I like that wand. It looks like the uh, Lash Paradise wand, actually. Okay, I'm gonna get this and go right into his lower lashes. Well, it's got good coverage, like it, it's not fucking around. Oh, cool. <laughs> I love this so much. Living my bee fantasy over here. You know what? I think I'm going to amp up that lower lash line a little bit since we're kind of going there with the mascara and everything. I'm not being so restrained. Let's, let's go for it. I think it's, uh this guy again. I'm going to take some more of Obehave. Kind of pull it down a little bit more. A little bit of a sweet spot. Just the primary yellow. A little bit of a, a little bit of blending brush size. Take Stinger. Really kind of pull that shade out, blow the under eye out a little more. A buzz kill. Oh, yeah, I'm having fun with this. And yeah, I think I think I'm done with the eyes. Yeah, that mascara went on beautifully. Like it's very nice. Like you can't really see it though. I'm gonna have to use it in a different look where it really can be the star of the show because I feel like it got lost in the eyeshadow. But it's got like wonderful coverage. Like it definitely is on my lashes and like turn them yellow. Totally polish this look off. <laughs> oh, it keeps the lips all color pop. Well, I was thinking about it, it's like, yeah, I have a Marc Jacobs lip gloss, the uh, enamored gloss. In the shade uh huh honey so, well i think that's gonna look good and it also will look good with this lipstick this will just give a glossy finish there we go do i look like a ghost i feel like i look like a ghost in a viewfinder This is the finished look of what I created with the Uh Huh Honey palette from ColourPop. Uh Huh Honey. I just feel like you gotta say it with a, like a Georgia accent for some reason. I don't know why. I just feel like you have to say it like you're on uh, Designing Women. <laughs> like it's, you gotta have that Georgia flair when you talk about it. Anyways, this little nine pan palette contains five mattes, three metallics, and one pressed glitter, which like I said, is not intended for immediate eye use, but we popped it on the center of the lid because it's in an eyeshadow palette. I should be able to put it on my eyes. That's just me though, and if I go blind or scratch my cornea again, we'll know why. I have two scratches on one of my corneas. I can't remember, is it this one? Yeah, but that was from waterproof mascara, getting a chunk of it stuck around it. It was, it was a whole thing. That's why I don't use waterproof mascaras. Palette blends beautifully. It's pigmented. It's stunning. Like, I can't say enough good things. This is the palette that I've uh, basically wanted for 10 years now. Like, just a pure yellow palette. It's, it's the palette that I've dreamed of. And just... Uh, 
Yeah, I purchased the Humble Bee collection, which came with the gel liner and the mascara. I can't remember how much that was together. I think it was like $25. Not this. Anyway, the palette itself, though, it retails for $12 for the nine shades. Yeah, the uh, quality is outstanding. These metallics just are like molten gold. And, oh. All right, let's talk about these shades individually. First up is... Stinger, which is the matte butter yellow. Next is Sunburst Metallic Lemon with Blue Glitter. Sweet Spot Matte Primary Yellow. Dandy Metallic Vibrant Yellow Gold. Palooza Pressed Glitter. Bright Yellow with Copper Duochrome Shift. Queen Bee Metallic Dandelion. Tully Buggin' Matte Butterscotch, Obehave Matte Mustard, and lastly, Buzzkill Matte Yellow Brown. Standout shade definitely is Sunburst with the uh, metallic lemon with a blue glitter. I mean, it's on my inner corners. It is so unique and so cool. I love it so much. Like, I want to bathe in that color. And yeah, the pressed glitter, which is the bright yellow with the, let me say, the copper duochrome, it really does have like an orange flash as you turn. Like it's gold and then just beautiful, like warm amber orange. It's really pretty. Both Dandy and Queen Bee are like molten metallic goodness. Like they look like foiled eyeshadows when they go on. They are beautiful and they're soft and buttery feeling. Just funny. All these shades are very, very buttery soft. I think the uh, only thing I would say it's missing is maybe something a little deeper than uh, Buzzkill just to really deepen up that crease. Because I feel like uh, I don't quite have enough definition as I would want, but I could always pull from another palette, but that defeats the purpose. I do like having just the solid yellow palette though, like of all the different tones of yellow. Uh, yes, I like the way this look came out. I had a lot of fun creating it. And I think I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to uh, do some more looks with this and see kind of what type of variety you can get out of it. I kind of just went for it with the glitter today and the shimmer and try to use as many shades in the palette as I could to really, you know, give you guys a feel for it. That's my thoughts on the Uh Huh Honey palette from ColourPop and how stunning it is. This is the uh, look we created and everything. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, just give me a like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, turn the bell on, I don't know. Save a bee, ring the bell, I don't know. <laughs> that that would have been cool if some proceeds from of this palette went to a foundation for save the bees or something like that i think that would have been really a good idea because come up does do some nice like charity work like they donate to the no kill la shelter and i thought that was lovely like this setup and how i got the lighting going let me know also because you know this is still work in progress the filming area and everything so yeah i will see y'all in the next one bye now